Some interesting news about viral videos from Unruly. They did a recent study. They, they surveyed 2,699 individuals with regard to what makes a video go viral and some interesting stats and statistics about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. One of the most surprising things is that funny videos or humorous videos, things that are shocking videos, Humor doesn't work as well as what it did before. Brands are finding out, ladies and gentlemen, that they have been inundated with all these funny ads for a long time. And if the ad is not truly funny, it's not going to go viral. What happened is Unruly took a look at the 2013 Super Bowl ads and then surveyed the 2,900 uh, 2,699 responses from their survey. There's some other interesting things in this uh, discussion. For example, Wednesday. Wednesday seems to be the day that's the best day to launch a campaign. Now, this is based on two factors, kids. Uh, one, on average, half, 48.3% of the weekly video shares occur between Wednesday and Friday, with the peak of shares occurring on a Friday and the lowest point being during the weekend. People are just too doggone busy. And two, a quarter of a video's total shares on average occur in the first three days of launch. So if you're going to be um, putting out a video and, and you're hoping that it might go viral or it is for your business, best day to put that video out and to share it would be Wednesday. All right. What about sharing? Let's find out a little bit more about that. According to the survey from Unruly, uh, this is interesting. Ads must also give viewers a strong reason to share. And here we have an image of a couple of people sharing that information. Uh, and it should ideally uh, trigger emotion to generate earned shares and views. Uh, ads, that are offered, uh, ads that are offered weak social motivations, even when paired with strong psychological responses from viewers, had a very low share rate. Now, what all this means, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, if, you're, if you're trying for funny, that's okay, but, but it, you've also got to hit an emotional attachment or so. If you offer weak social motivations, those videos won't be shared as easily as what they will if you've attached emotions to them. Here's another interesting stat just for the record. Uh, year on sharing of Super Bowl ads, by the way, get this, grew 118% from 2012 to 2013. Super Bowl teasers and ads generated 7,739,000 shares in 2013. That's up from 3,500,000 shares in 2020. Pretty fascinating stuff. Next up, let's talk about Instagram and Lexus. What do you get when you pair 200 photographers, Instagram, and a brand new 2014 Lexus? Well, what you get is a brand new ad for Lexus. Lexus, rather, it was all generated by photographers using Instagram. Here's the backstory, and then we're going to show you the video. On June 30th at Angel Stadium, Stadium in Anaheim, 200 Instagrammers, with their cameras obviously, got together and they were positioned in st strategic locations around a 2014 Lexus. And they were all asked to snap various images and, uh, of what they were and then share them on Instagram with the hashtag, get this, it was hashtag Lexus Instagram. And then on site, this ad agency, it's called Team One, and Lexus sequenced the photos together, used 3D mapping to position each one of the photos in the correct location, and they came out with this. Here is what Instagram and uh, Lexus did uh, together uh, to form this ad sequence.
multitudes of images for, for the 2014 Lexus. We're taking still shots using mobile phones. That's it. And we're making a film. Amazing. Amazing. I've never been a part of a project like this or seen anything like this, so I'm pretty excited to see what it comes out to. People are coming from distances, hundreds, thousands of miles, just to be part of something that they've never seen before. Thank you again, guys. Let's all get out to our station. Let's go. All right. Very good. Oh, looks pretty good. I like it. I can't wait to edit it. I'm about to do frame number 174. I'm kind of excited about this one. Basically, I take the shot, edit it how I want, post it on Instagram, and they sequence it all together in the right order to make the film. There's a couple shots in which we simulate a camera car to wrap around or dolly around a car. We have specific marks where they need to be and where the car is to simulate that move. We actually photographed the entire location and rendered it in 3D so that we could map out all of our shots. So I chose frame 323, where I can get both the Lexus symbol and also the sleek lines of her. The car looks amazing, and if I could have one, I would take it. <laughs> it's exquisite. Beautiful. Yeah. It, it's a, it looks like a masterpiece. How'd it go? It's good. Now my mind is filling itself with the colors and the shades, and like, should I edit it? Should I? Anyways, I'm excited. <laughs> this is the second step after taking the picture. They're asking us to edit our image, and that we're uploading it to Instagram using the hashtags. I got a little bit of the car, and I was just going to give it a black and white kind of a feel. It shows a nice slow down to the ground kind of shot that gave me a good perspective. Does my hair look okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Once they've posted the Instagram, we're saving all the images locally and delivering those photos in real time for the editor. It's pretty exciting to feel like you're part of something original, especially off of Instagram, because I pretty much live on that app. Thank you all on behalf of Lexus for welcoming us into your community. Today was an amazing day with so many talented, talented people taking shots and really making them their own. It's a really good representation of what Instagram is because it's a community that comes together. I think Lexus goes, why don't we just jump like nine steps forward? Really, really stretch everyone's imagination and do something that's completely different. Three. Dead sexy. Congratulations to Team One out of California for utilizing social media in the production of an Instagram ad for Lexus. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And if you noticed, each one of the photographers, they were uh, denoted by uh, having a Twitter handle underneath their names. Good stuff, Lexus, good stuff, Team One. How do you use social media to create something of uh, first of a kind? That's the first of the kind Instagram movie for anything. Very, very, very cool. When we come back, what is it that makes folks think that they're marketers? Seth Godin has some insight on that and we'll share it with you. An insight on business returns. It's all being brought to us by our friends at Bike World. Bike World, the store that, su that supports the sport as well as Fuersa. Fuersa, tax and accounting professionals will work hard for your business until the cows come home. Back with more right after this.